Hey guys, Gaddick Teak here, continuing my Let's Play of Knights of the Old Republic. This is episode 6, and uh, if you saw the end of episode 5, you saw that I died horrifically, and you may have noticed that I did not save it all. So I kind of had to run through everything you saw in that episode again. I tried to do it as faithfully as possible. I also was able to go through some of the abilities that I was choosing really quickly. Because I didn't want to bore you with reading it if you've already played this game. But maybe in the future I will actually read through the abilities and try and pick the best ones. I will show you what I've done. I changed around the skill allocations a little bit. If I could figure out how to show you that, that would be nice. Uh, where can I show you feats? Where are the feats? There. Okay. So... This character, instead of taking the Flurry, which is a terrible ability for a tank, as I noticed, it gives you minus four defense, and that might be a reason why I was taking so much damage in this guy, I gave him Toughness. I believe it was Toughness. Yeah. Toughness, so he gains an extra vitality point every level, making him a little bit beefier. And Vet, I decided that I wanted to give her blaster a blaster rifle instead of a blaster pistol so I gave her the weapon focus blaster rifle plus one all right so that's pretty much all I've done differently and instead of going through the area that had the carbonizer beam guy I decided to just run back the way I came and now I'm at the lower city and we're gonna return some swoop stuffs oh no terrible collision detection the bane of playing old games again is the the hit detection and the collision detection. Elevator. Going up the elevator into the upper si lower city. Alrighty. So I'm returning to the Hidden Becks, I believe, for the name of the other gangsters that I was doing this for, and then I'm gonna enter into the speeder race. I've never done swoop racing, I've heard it's great. Let's uh, give it a shot and find out if it really lives up to the high standards everyone seems to put it at. Everyone begs for it to be in Swotor, so I have high hopes. Let's see, here's the hidden back base. Go. No. Because I click it again, it means I'm Anthony, I want you to go faster and not stop. Going to the hidden back base. Gonna talk to the leader. And Gaden Feck, what's going on, buddy? You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I have it right I here. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Alright, lived up to my end of the deal. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner. Damn right I'm I am. I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator Sweet. installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gaddon, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. I am one of your best riders, lady. the prototype engine into the race. Don't worry, I'll win the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is unstable. <laughs> the chance during the race. I like to live dangerously. My own to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. And I'll be the only if one to win. If you complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the backs. If you die, okay, one the of my other riders could back. still come through for me. It's pretty funny. Sounds like you've got all you your bases covered. You don't get to be leader covered. of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. All right, I'm ready you for the race. Stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop. Is that my high midichlorian count? Is that how you know I'm gonna be a good racer? Only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. What's up, Brodian buddy? I guess he's a mechanic. Do we do that 
I hope you've done a good job then. There aren't nearly enough of those kind of guys in this Vodor. I, I can't even think of anywhere where they are. I like those guys, they're cool. Uh, yeah, how do you do this stuff? Try not to crash into anything, that's good. There's debris and obstacles scattered all over the course, so watch out. Okay, you can do that. Swoops are equipped with a dynamic deflector system, so hitting obstacles will cause you to crash. It'll shake you up a bit, slow you down, got it. Track accelerator panels built in, okay, speed up tiles, I assume. I hope this is like the pod racer game on N64. I freaking love that game. That was a great game. Yeah. 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 Alright. Let's start it up then. Whoever is supposed to Oh, so it's a time trial? I hate time trials. Heats they want. So hold up. No more than four or five races. Alright. Make sure your runs count. Alright. Won't let you down. Exploding. Probably won't happen. That doesn't sound too good at all. Alright. So I'm going to save because I'm going to guess it's going to explode. Race announcer. I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. Riding as a hidden back. Yep. Good luck. Try not to get myself killed. I will try. I want to race one of my heats, let's go. Alright. Three, two, go. Oh. This is actually really fast. Oh. Whew. This is like F Zero. This is pretty awesome. That was a lot of fun. Did it. I got a top time. Really? That was it? That's all I had to do? He's never in his fear. Yeah! I'm the man! I'm the man! One of the Vulcans- what? Alright, it's still holding together. I can do this. I can do faster. Go speed racer! I want to race one of my heats. I can do this. Let's let's go. All right, 25 seconds. I want to do 25 seconds or better. It's time. Well, not a good start. Not a good start at all. Alright, that's like the exact same time, but I had a terrible start that time. I can do better. I know I can do better. Alright. I know, don't hit- okay, I get it. Alright, I got it this time though. Alright. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. 25 seconds. That's my goal. Alright, it's a good 
one. I'm going well. Alright. Come on. Don't hit anything. Speeders? Oh yeah, 24 seconds. Alright. Is that a winning time? Did it? Nobody's gonna beat that time? Nobody? Woo! I am a damn good swoop rider. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must what? know. The winning no. cheated. No, I was just faster. You're a damn liar, Brezhik. Is using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the vote. No, what? No, that's... No. You have not altered the deal. And you will not alter further. Alright, that guy's getting blasted. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I will. I might have something oh. to say about that, Brezhik. Oh. She will. Oh. Why didn't she do that the whole time? What? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. <laughs> Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! Uh-uh-uh. Didn't say the magic word. Alright, we're gonna shield first. And... I don't have any medkits. That's not good. But, I have a concussion grenade. That's what I'm gonna use on you. Brezhik, you're getting concussed. Yeah, let's do that. Right, next, I want to kill these these dudes. That's first. All right, now now. I'm ready. All right, she's doing a good job tanking. All right, regular attacks, regular attacks. You need to kill, kill him, finish him. Nice job, Basila. Thanks for the help. Uh, you want to talk? Maybe those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, do you think you can collect me as a prize? Yeah, I think you're I don't misunderstanding what's going on here. You're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? My name's Gaddick Teague, and I'm here to save you. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from yeah. the restraint. Yeah, you could have done that earlier, and then I wouldn't have had to risk my life. It's accurate to say that I saved you. No, oh, what? Volkers would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped I can leave life. you here if you want. Lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. I have a plan to get off this planet. You are going to be stuck here with the Sith. I think you've got things confused. Think, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force, but I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the End of Spire? Karth and I already got a plan. Is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rash yeah, sometimes. Yeah, noticed. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Cutscene! I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully it's recording. But but there's not bad music. And she's killing something. I guess this is a vision. Lots of people with lightsabers. You cannot win, Revan. 
And Revan, I know he is in Swotor. He is a bad guy, it looks like. He's wearing Revan's mask and robes. Is he dead? Alright, he fell over. Ship got hit with blaster fire, fell over, Bastel, and died. You're alive! Finally, things How do we get up. back here? The Sith didn't notice. Way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I'm trying to what find you, remember? Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Seriously. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real Karth. issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. She's kind of a don't bitch. My I don't like her. My ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. He's right. You aren't showing much leadership ability right now, Bastila. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled Seriously. child. Seriously. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. But we all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Me neither. Okay, so now what? We'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Troubling me? Oh yeah, I did have that weird dream. A vision, a vision of what? Are you fighting a dark Jedi, Revan, I guess? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. Huh? What do you mean, force sensitivity? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Hmm. This isn't the first time I've had one of those dream vision thingies either. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision. If there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a hey, way to you ask me about it. <laughs> to the cantina. Is it good going? Can I make anything of the work workbench? Oh yeah, I did get some upgrades. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Mission's Vibro Blade. Vibration Cell. Plus one physical damage. Okay. So I'll put that in there. Assemble. That's nice. Alright, ranged. Nothing that I have. Alright. Let's get out of here. Get to the cantina. All right, I want mi want I like these guys. They're cool. I'm gonna stick with them. Screw that bitch. They can go bicker all they want. I'm gonna hang out with my buds. I am. That's right. Andrus or that dude. I don't know. I don't know if I want to meet that dude again. He was the guy from the cantina before, and they didn't like each other. 
Alright, I guess I'll attend that meeting then. Offer I couldn't refuse. Is there going to be a horse head in my bed when I wake up? Thanks for the message, though. <laughs> Mandalorians. <laughs> there are remains still sitting here from when I fought before. It's funny. I can't believe I didn't get that stuff. Oh yeah, and there's a shopkeeper that was gonna give me a discount. Let's see what he got for sale. Can I buy anything good now? Med packs. I could definitely use some med packs. Anything else I can buy for now? No. Stealth unit. Stems. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of med packs. And I helped you out before. To the lower city, upper city. To the lower upper city, as opposed to the upper lower city. Which is different from the lower lower city. And I am going to the cantina. That's this way. Mission? What's up, mission? I know a little bit really? more about you. You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Where are your parents? Why don't you have a family? You know, my parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were at hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. <laughs> Seriously, who wouldn't hey, pick a fight with a Wookiee? Nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them, so maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you poor slimes! <laughs> I charged right at them. One of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Smacking a kid. Hey, don't Those Volkers like have no class. I ain't no kid. I'm 14 years old. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. What do the other the two other guys two do? Screamed ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. <laughs> the Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him. <laughs> 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 Wookiee language is so long. Sorry, Zalbar, but I keep telling you to brush those choppers once in a while. Why do you think I won't stand down when when you're talking? <laughs> anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? How did Zalbar end up here? Some kind of trouble back on Kashi. That's all I know, really. Kashi? Is that how it's really said? I've already said Kashi. 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 Doesn't much matter Kashi. to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Seems all of our like to live in the present. All right, we should get back yeah, to the task at hand. Right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. <laughs> Option two is funny, but I want to know about her brother. My brother is a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business plan, okay? All right. And to the cantina. OK. 
Okay, hurry up. Candorous Orb. Where are you, buddy? I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. What are you talking about? My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. Sounds good to me. How do you plan on doing that? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Right, I'm I listening. saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military. Okay, that's a little bit of a leap, I need but someone to steal the Sith go along with it. From the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Well, I, I know what's in it for me. I get to get off the planet, but I'll Here's ask the anyway. Deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Ebon Hawk? How are you going to manage uh, that? Uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. I'll be back Good with those luck. codes, then. You're going to need it. The entrance to the base is sealed up tight. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Get those Lucky from the droid shop. Lucky know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nal. Just tell her Kandor is sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Sounds peachy. Why don't you take it Normally for yourself? Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Alright, you've got a deal. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Go to the droid shop, which I think is through that way. <laughs> this guy doesn't know where he's going. Nobody seems to know where they're going. They're just walking in circles. What the? They just dive after me? North. Droid shop is apartments. Droids by Janice there. Uh, what do you want, Mission? I just talked to you. I want to talk about your brother. I was a little snappish when you last talked. I'm sorry about that. We get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. Why is it embarrassing? It's complicated. Griff wasn't the most popular guy. He had his faults. But I still loved him, you know? Sometimes people don't understand. He yeah. never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in the Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, <laughs> you know. How could your brother do that? No. No, I don't like that one. You were stowaways? I, I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. There might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. <laughs> See, 
This is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. How old was your brother? He's family. You have to stick by your family. That's what I'm trying to say. Without my brother, I don't know where I'd be. He gambled and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get rich quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive. You have an uncle like that. He slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. <laughs> Pretty handy skills to have there. Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. I keep hoping he'll come back someday. Promise me you would. Why did he leave? It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. Oh, that's that's great. Alright, let's get back to our mission, mission here. Mission, mission. Is that supposed to be a joke? Like I've only heard that about a million times in my life. Okay, I can take a hint. You don't want to hear anymore. I just kind of know where the story is going. about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. The subject's closed as far as I'm concerned. All right, if I'm cool. going to be any Good. help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic <sighs> skank. Is there Jeez. something else you need? No, okay. I, we're, we're good. good. Let's uh, move on here. Sorry I asked to begin with. To the droid shop. Get an astromech. Hachu apanki. Jishawa anibun ka shak. Catter said you'd have a T3 M4 droid. For me. Two thousand credits. Give me the droid for free, or Davrick will close this shop down permanently. Damn right he's mine. All right, I'm gonna have. Eh. I'm gonna keep Wookie around with me. I like Wookie. He doesn't talk as much. Dark side. Oh, well, I guess for the persuasion. Alright. So now I have to use this droid to break in to the Imperial base. Where that is, I am not sure, but I will find out. Next time on Dragon Balls. I can't. Say Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I think you can say. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Trademark of Hasbro, Bandai, whoever else. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of my Kotor Let's Play. I will see you next time.